So for the next five minutes, I'm going to try to squeeze in what it takes to have report writing success with Datacomp Suite, Datacomp and Edge. So here's a general outline of a 12-week process to get up and running. It really starts off with number one. Select somebody inside your appraisal firm. I call them the IHP, the in-house person. That's 100% in charge of report writing success. Obviously, as the firm's owner, that's really you. But you need a go-to person that can teach your, your staff and your appraisers uh, how to do certain things. First thing to do after that would be create a, your template. Create one template that you typically use for 80% of all your appraisal work. A very standard office, industrial, retail, bank work, wh whatever you do. But pick the, the template, the report format that you use almost 80% of the time. Keep it to one. That's, that's important for success. Get together with your staff and your appraisers and agree to the stylization of the keyworded template or report the way it's going to merge. That's important to get buy-in on how it generally flows from cover to cover. The next step, which is it would be in week six, that the as the owner of the appraisal firm, don't just set it and forget it. Don't give it to the young guy or girl to go do it. You need to be actively involved for the success of report writing. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. The IHP typically is an appraiser, appraiser and they should use their template, even if it's 50% done, doesn't really matter. As they build it out, they should start using it for actual work, and then they can tweak along the way. At that same point in your process, organize so everybody can share in a library. Take your zonings by cities and counties, organize them. Take your neighborhoods, maybe organize them by zip codes. Take your market overviews for your highest and best use, retail office, whatever you have. Organize them in a the folder for everybody to share. Super impactful to really leverage report writing. And in week nine, the IHP tweaks the template on the fly. It's getting better. They're finding, you know, some maybe getting a little bit more advanced if you'd like. And that IHP person makes a Loom video or any kind of video like this and really shows you an overview of how to use Edge in Datacomp. It doesn't have to be a deep dive. You can break it down into individual videos like, hey, here's a video. It's a minute or two long. It shows you how to attach all your addenda. Uh, it might be a video on how to get through the highest and best use. Maybe a video on here's how to do your improved grid, your improved comps, and your map. Just break it down into quick videos. This library will be very helpful to onboard new appraisers and as a refresher to say, hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? So a library uh, video, video library is super important. At this point, you should be talking to your appraisers to say, hey, you're going to adopt this template edge report writing. We're, we're not going to let the old appraisers do it the old way. That's the point. You need full implementation. So sit down with each of your appraisers, even if they've been with you for years, Get some buy-in, and I'd actually write it down. Make them sign it and spell out what they're going to be doing uh, as far as their appraisals, not just opening up old Word docs and doing it old school. The last stage, give your IHP the authority for success, which means going back to your appraiser saying, hey, can I help you out? What are you getting stuck on? I see you're not using it. I can tell the reviewers telling me they can tell that you're not using the template from Edge. How can I help? Next would be setting new production goals. So with software that's automated, you should be getting more production. Yes, it's less typos, you're not working weekends or what have you, but you really should set new production goals. And lastly, once you've gone through this whole process, you have people on board, they like the, the template that you're using for 80% of your workflow, of your work that you're doing, then consider additional templates. If you do evaluations, restricted, uh, maybe right-of-way, eminent domain, maybe special property types, nursing homes, what have you. I would do that at the very end, not at the beginning. So I hope that this general process can, out, can be the outline for success. I would actually print it out and stick it up on, on your wall to say, okay, where are we in the process? And if you get stuck, always come back to this and you know this is the general pathway for success in report writing. I think, I hope it works excellent for you because I know it will if you stick with the plan.
Stick with the roadmap. Thank you.